Hey, welcome to Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Rome, Rome and, and Roll. Roll. All right. Not rock and roll. Not rock and roll. Rome. <laughs> it's like, actually, it was kind of like rock and roll, like old rocks. And old rocks like, and stones. Right. <laughs> so Rome and Roll is a um, much more involved roll and write mm. uh, designed by Nick Shaw and David Churchy for PSC Games. Uh, plays one to four players in about 60, 90 minutes. Yep. I'm hoping we're going to stay closer to the 60s side of things. With two. I think with two. So. I think so. So. Um, so let's let's do it. All right. So join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right. Welcome back. Welcome to Rome. Roma. As some would say. <laughs> As the board would say. Yes. yes. As most cans of tomato sauce would say. <laughs> so, what are we doing? We're rolling and writing. We are. We are rebuilding Rome. Or building Rome. I rebuilding. Guess. We so, are rebuilding yeah. Rome. Yes. So, um, what is uh, is Roman roll? Basically, it's a roll and write, right? It's, yes. a, it's a crafty name for a roll and write. But it's, it's not your average roll and write because there's a lot going on in this game. Right, yes. Um, and... What's really cool, and we'll show you when we show you the components, is that we're not using any paper. We're actually going to be doing everything on dry erase boards with markers, which is also really cool. Very cool. Right. Because I hate lots of papers I do scrunched too. up in the box. So. I do too. So yeah. take a look at the table. We'll kind of walk you through the setup, and then we're going to jump right in because, as we said, this is a pretty meaty game. It is. This is probably the heaviest roll and write we've ever played. Yeah, as far as just all the different things going right. on and all the ways to score and stuff like that, right? So we're basically... Um, two sort of like Roman politicians, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and we're trying to, uh, I guess, do the best at rebuilding Rome and helping conquer uh, different uh, nations while we're mm -hmm. out here, right? So each of us is going to draft dice that we're going to roll from a dice pool to mm -hmm. gain resources, uh, do all sorts of actions, uh, build a lot of buildings on the board. And what's really cool about this is we're going to be building by drawing the Tetris-shaped houses right. and buildings on this board and depending on their placement location uh, and adjacency they're going to score us a number of different points produce different types of goods and all you know just basically mm -hmm. scoring bonuses based on where we put them um, we'll be able to draft uh, the help of gods and let's see eight of gods yes. um, and do a bunch of other things so if you want to go through the actions real quick um, and then we'll jump in sure so <laughs> there's a lot of things that we can do yeah um, we're going to be uh, as you said we're gonna be rolling these dice and now on on each of these dice and we'll show you as we kind of take our turns here mm -hmm. in a bit um, you're gonna have several I icons on the die face so depending right. on what die you are using for that turn you have a couple of things that will happen you may generate resources which would just show the resource or you might take one of these actions so we have a construct action that is going to allow us to build uh, there's a few icons that allow us to do that which we'll go through as yeah we'll, we'll go through as we go um, we can raise legion so in this game we're going to have to raise uh, some troops we're gonna like rally our troops mm -hmm. so that we can go out and actually conquer these uh, co colonies and things exactly. like that yep. so we're gonna have to do that just settle um, settlements, I guess, yep. yeah. Um, actually go out and conquer those settlements. So you have to raise your troops as an action. Yes. Conquer, conquer as an the action. Settlements. Um, <laughs> the standard worker placement, really, yep. so everything's kind of in micro. Um, <clears throat> we can also expand. So on these settlements, we're going to be able to build roads and actually connect the settlements to one another in mm -hmm. order to score points and get resources. We have a taxation action that we can take and also a trade action, and both of those we'll go over as we get into them. Yep, so one, one thing to note is um, out of those six actions, mm -hmm. right, uh, four of them require a symbol on one of the dice that you draft, right, right. depending on the side. If, the, if you do not have that symbol, you cannot perform that action. Mm -hmm. The other two don't require a specific symbol. Well, and three, they can, technically, the conquer. Uh, conquer, tax, and trade. Yes, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, conquer, tax, and trade. The three of them don't require a symbol, and they can actually be just taken mm -hmm. at the cost of a die. So, to think about it, you're going to use up all the symbols on your die face, and then spend the die, and then the die is discarded, right? right? If if you don't have a requirement for a specific icon, you just spend the die, but you still get to use all of the items right. the icons because some die faces for example this has like a hammer and two stone you can use the two stone to store in your warehouse we'll go over that in a second but also use that hammer to build right and you can use that stone right there and then to build with the hammer or you can store it away it really depends up right. to you but <laughs> what by spending that hammer that actually exhausts the die 
So it really depends on how you, how you, the order you do it in. Yeah. So uh, a couple things to go over real quick. Uh, resources, there's wood, there's bricks, uh, there's stone, there's jewelry, and there's fish. Mm -hmm. All of that will be tracked in your warehouse by their respective letter. Right. So right now I start with two wood, one brick, and one fish. Yeah, go over who you're starting with because your starting player boards are going are to give you some starting different. advantages and also your advisors are going to be different. Right. So I'm the Mercator. Okay. And I'm a powerful foreign trader and expert at amassing cloth and coins. Oh, very nice. So I start with additional resources. That's my bonus. So I, like I said, instead of starting with just wood and brick, I start mm -hmm. with two wood, a brick, and a fish. Uh, we each have three advisors, mm -hmm. and those advisors have special abilities we'll go through. We don't have to yeah. go through them right now, but um, in order to unlock those abilities, you gotta bribe them with either fish or jewelry. Yeah. And not fish or jewelry from your warehouse. It's gotta be under the table. Right. Um, pretty simple. That's my bonus. What do you have? Okay, so I'm the, not the perfect. Right. The prefect. The prefect. <laughs> um, so I'm a, like a bureaucrat. So I actually start with a basic settlement in Hispana, which I need to take credit for. So uh, the way this is going to work as we're tracking things is we're like standard roll and write. You're going to kind of fill things in as you go up these tracks. I already have this first block filled in for this glory that I'm going to be taking. And I'll go ahead and fill this in now. So I can choose uh, either this one, either one of these one banner settlements in Hispana and uh, his. Hispania. Hispania. Hispania to take. So I'll just take this one and I'm just going to color that in like so. All right. And that's what I start with. So, so that's your start. That's okay. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty much it. I think we're going to go through a little bit more. Uh, there are these blue spots on our tracks. If you're ever to reach that, I start on the shrine. Not with this guy, you don't. No, he doesn't? Where does he start? I don't think. I think everybody, yeah, player oh, two, player, player two always, always starts in the, sh oh, okay. yeah. Um, so we'll I'll go over that in a sec. There is, um, based on your um, player board, there are different levels that you will hit these blue mm -hmm. sort of tiers. When you hit them, you'll get to draft or take one of these Nero, Caesar, Augustus cards, mm -hmm. and those are worth points. There are three of them. Once all three of them are gone, we play one round, game's over. That's right. the timer. So it kind of, you know, as soon as you get sort of further on, some tracks are, shorter than others for certain mm -hmm. uh, player boards, I guess, depending. Right. Uh, the housing market is basically the housing, it's like a building market, is where we'll be able to take a the look for a blueprint. It'll tell us what the resource costs and what shape of that building is and what the building does, and we'll be able to build it out here. I have a foreman who starts on the shrine as player two. That building blueprint is un, is unavailable right now because I have a, 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 a foreman on there right now. We each have overseers who are basically in the Foro Romano, which is like the forum in the center of Rome, you can build adjacent to any of this, uh, to the forum right now, mm -hmm. and then any building you build thereafter has to be adjacent to another one of your buildings. Right. Um, so that'll make more sense as we start building. But right now, it's just an empty slate. We have the forum. The blue, green, and yellow are the different hills of Rome. The white are the marshes, and certain buildings need to be built in marshes or hills. They can span one marsh, one hill. They cannot span two hills. Right. Those are the basic rules. Yeah. That's it. That's simple. Your player one. Yep. Let's jump in, roll those dice, and let's get drafting. Okay. Boom. All right. All right. So we're going to need to bring everything above here. Okay. Cool. Above so, the board. The way this, it's like kind of snakes the draft does. So I'm going to pick first. You're going to pick two, and then I'm going to pick the last. Yep. One. And, and you are the pro I'll console. Start. That's player one. It's going to shift pro every round. Console. I think I'll go with so go with this guy. All right, so remember I'm drafting twice. Mm -hmm. So what I think oh, these are these are pretty good. These are pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with these two. Okay. And I will go with. It's a lot of resources going on those days. It is. There's a lot. I'll go with maybe this one. It's like, do I want three bricks or a brick and two wood? I guess I'll go with the diverse choice. what I do. All right, so that's it. That last die does yep. not get drafted. Uh, and then we just have to start taking our actions. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start by... Um, All right, so like my die, this die here, for example, has a jewelry on it, an architect symbol, and also a garrison action. If I garrison right now, I don't have any army buildings out there to actually get me any 
people. <laughs> I mean, right. garrisoned people. So I would have to build one of these things to actually do that. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I just might do that, but not right now. All right, so I'll take these resources first. So I'm just going to take a brick mm -hmm. and a wood. Brick and a wood. I'm just trying to, like, organize these as best I can. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll put my wood up top. So that was the whole die that you spent, right? A brick, a wood, and a wood. And yeah, a wood. And that was the blue die you just used? It is. All right, so yeah. there's... Yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna get rid of this. Um I have no connected settlement, so I can't really do anything with that, and I'm not going to trade anything right now, even though I technically could to get three coins, uh, but I'm not going to. So. Yeah, so if trading, you need to trade three matching resources. Yep. Rings so are three, wild. It's, three coins. Yes, yeah, so it wouldn't be advisable to do that mm -mm. this early. So I'm going to use this die. This die has the, the merchant, the architect, and the raised legion symbol on it, the banner. So... I'm going to use the architect. So th there's two ways you can build. You build with the architect, you build with the builder. If you build the architect, you can build the building that's unavailable mm -hmm. on an unavailable blueprint, which is whatever. Um, in a two-player game, it really doesn't become an issue. It doesn't, yeah. Um, and you can also, um, you get a one resource discount on a building you're going to build. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by building a training ground. What? That's what I was going to build. Well, I have the resources to do such a thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and put my I foreman here. Too. And I'm going to use my overseer here. I'm going to decide where I want to build because I have to build a, a four grid square. And mm -hmm. that's basically what the shape of this training ground is. Um, it, it'll generate troops and it, per adjacent army building, except for the training grounds, I'm going to gain points for it. So I think what I'll probably do is just right on here, I'm going to draw a square, four grid, right there. And that's my training ground. Okay. And within that, I'm going to put the letters T, G for training okay. ground. Right, so I know that's my training ground. It's going to cost me two wood and a brick. I happen to have two wood and a brick, but I do get one get a resource discount. discount. So I will pay, uh, boom, 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 what do I want? I'll pay the two wood and I'll use the brick as a discount. So I just cross those off. Okay. And now that was my, that was my architect. I also have this, uh, yeah, so that actually spends my die. Mm-hmm. So that's it. Hmm. Well, now I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I wanted to build that training ground. <laughs> hmm. Oh, but, forgot yeah. to. I have, when you build a building, you have yeah, to you mark, mark that you've off. built a building. That right is there. that is the, uh, the core tracker. mechanic of a yeah. rolling right. So do make you sure must that you are doing mark that. that you've yes. done that. Yes. Um, great. Great, great, great. Um... All right, maybe I'll do, I guess I'll do something a little different right now then. So I'm going to start by taking my jewelry. Mm -hmm. But instead of putting my jewelry in my warehouse, I'm going to use it to bribe my mm -hmm. advisor. So okay. um, as you had mentioned earlier, you can never use your resources that are in your warehouse because mm -hmm. they've, they're already on the books, right? Mm -hmm. So we can't bribe anybody with them. So we're going to go ahead and bribe my advisor. And I think I will we'll bribe Jovilios. Jovilios? Mm. Because when he is fully bribed, he is going to allow me to gain the region's resource when I conquer. So that's yes. good. Yes. Uh, yes. No, I was just going to say, so you understand with the advisors, there's there's two segments of skills that are cumulative. So you'll gain both abilities that once you do it. So once you bribe them twice, you'll unlock the first segment. Bribing them the fourth time will unlock the second segment. Bribing them the fifth time will unlock victory points that they'll be worth at the end of the game. Very good. It's a lot of bribing. It is a lot. But their skills are very powerful. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to Ugh. This is crap. Maybe I'll build an insula. An insula? Maybe. What does that mean? Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna build this thing. Mm. Um, so an insula. It's an urban building. It's an urban building. 
It costs a wood and two bricks, but I'm only going to pay a wood and a brick. Like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it is like an L-shaped type of thing, so I'm going to build that right here. Ugh, it's not really next to a religious building, but that's okay. Oh, well, one thing I forgot to do is after you build your building, yeah, you move, move your him. overseer onto that newly built building. I get him out of the way here. He's out. Okay, so we're going to build this guy right mm -hmm. here. Oops, there we go. Okay. And this is going to be Insula. Okay. And he's going to go there. Uh, I would gain a basket, which is basically a wild resource, mm. uh, if it was adjacent to a religious building, but it is not. And nothing happens. If I had built that next to your training ground, your training ground would have actually triggered. It would have. But I didn't do And that. you would have gotten a senator. But I didn't do that. Yes. If you build next to an opponent, you gain a senator for that. So it's always nice to do that. All right. So it's my turn. Mm -hmm. So now I have hammer and two wood. Okay. So I could build with that hammer or I could expand roads, but I don't have any stone. So what can I build for two wood? And a brick. And this stuff. So maybe, you know what? Maybe I just build, maybe I build a fishing wharf. That's pretty interesting. So it's got to be adjacent to the, mm -mm. oh, I can't do that. I no, can't build it next to the river. I got to get over it. Maybe that's why you're over there. Maybe. Hmm. Mm, I could do it. I can do it. <laughs> I'm going to build the wharf because I'm going to move here first. And then I'm going to build right there. And that should be adjacent to the river. Yeah, so I'll build a fishing wharf. And I have two wood here, so I'm going to build wharf for the two wood. So that won't even go into my uh, storage. But I'm going to build it like this. One, okay. two. It's a Tetris piece. Boom, boom. See that? It's a polyominal. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. That's the fishing wharf. The F. W. For the win. For the win. <laughs> FTW. Um, so my little dude goes here. It's got to be adjacent to the, the river. And then that's it. It produced. But now since I put it up against yours, that triggers your it production. Does. Yeah. So I can perform any two actions mm -hmm. except Insula. If they were opponent owned, gain you gain one coin. So the only other things out there are your buildings. Oh. So I get to do a training ground, which gives me one of these guys, and I gain a fish. Oh, in the warehouse. Um, in the fishing wharf. Or you could spend it. What? Oh, to bribe? Yeah, without putting it in I there. Let me do that. So I'm I get a coin for each of those things you I'm triggered. I'm assuming, yeah. What does it say? Let me read that. Perform any two different uh, production abilities except the insula itself. It says if any. If they were they opponent gain owned, one. they gain. I think you gain one. If they, if any were opponent owned, they gain the dollar. Yeah. Uh, per, I'm gonna assume. Okay. Yeah, Doesn't this, say per, but I would definitely think it's per for using my buildings. Yeah. It would have to be. Okay. All right. All right. So that is the last action, right? Mm -hmm. And then now I become proconsul. Yes. I roll the dice and then we draft again. Okay. Um, he has to go into this fishing you built wharf. That? You can't believe I built it. You're being very aggressive this this game. I am not. I'm yes, just, you are. I'm spreading the joy of Rome. There's so much to be done here. Um, wow, that's some pretty good stuff. I'll take, I'll take this one. Yeah, well, these are exactly the same, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You can have that crappy one. <laughs> the architect and one piece of wood. Um, yes, the architect and one wood. Oh, goodness gracious. I guess I will... I guess I'll take both of these. Hmm. Okay, I'll take the red. All right, and now it is my turn. Okay. Okay, so Go. off the bat, what am I going to do? <laughs> uh, I think maybe want to get some... I want to build some more stuff, though. Don't you? I would like to. Hmm.
I just don't have the resources to do it right now. So I'll just spend this red one right now. So I get a ring. So it's got a ring, a spear, and a uh, a raised legions symbol mm -hmm. on it, flag. So I'm going to take the ring. I'm going to pay off one of these dudes. Oh, my goodness. So I guess I'm going to start with Jeremiah's because he was a bullfrog. <laughs> All right. So you get one. So he's going to get the, the ring. And then I have, um, I'm going to raise legions, right? Okay. So I can activate up to three army buildings. There's only one out there. It's my training grounds. And mm -hmm. I can activate yours as well. Um, but for the raise legions, I get one troop. So I will take one legionnaire okay. into my army. Nice. So that was my raise legions action. Okay. And it cost me my die. All right. Great. So I have a jewelry also. I will fill this in. Just keep on bribing this guy for more stuff. Mm -hmm. Just give me more stuff. Hello. What? Did you get an army before, by the way? When? Earlier. When? I don't know, because you colored that in. Did yeah, you do it's that? this. I know, but I'm I saying... I it. It was already colored in. See? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm saying you don't in. have to. I was wondering why you colored it orange. Because I like it to all uh, be consistent. Okay, just saying. Have <laughs> <laughs> we met? Yes, I know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I just didn't want to. I wanted to make sure that you weren't putting a second mark over that. Oh, like cheap, like it's cheating yourself cheating out of an extra out. troop. That's I all. You. I'm Thank just you. I appreciate it. So Good looking out. When you lose by one point at the end, it's not because you missed scored. Because <laughs> I forgot that troop. Yeah. Um. Okay. I guess I'll build something. Should die. Ow. Ow. You're still staying on that fishing wharf. How do I feel about that? Mm -hmm. Well, if you have an architect, it doesn't matter. I know, but I still don't like it. Mm. Okay, I'm going to build a fishing wharf. I'll spend all the stuff, I guess. That's too wood, though, because I don't get a discount if you're sitting there. You don't using an architect. What? You're using an architect, though. I know, but you're sitting there. I think it's right. only on, on if I buy on an unavail if I buy an available building I get the discount. Otherwise, I just to give me the benefit or, of or build an unavailable bl yeah. blueprint. Oh, okay. So. I got you. You know what I mean. Yep. Or I could build my own training grounds and get my own thing, which I might do instead, actually. So maybe I'll stay here in Insula. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll build a training ground for two wood. Or, yeah, I'll just do two wood. Save my brick. Okay. And I'll build my training ground right here. Like that. Right. Boop. All right. Um, that triggers your insula. It does trigger my insula. <laughs> so, <laughs> my insula. Uh, perform any two abilities. So I can trigger my training ground actually now. You can, yeah. So I will do that. And then I could trigger one of your buildings. Mm -hmm. Would you like another fish? I don't know. Yeah, I'll take a fish. You can have a coin. I'll take that coin. And I'll take this. Oh, I was going to get that anyway. Yeah, oh, well. I think... Oh, you built the training ground? So I guess yeah, I... put that up there. All right. All right, so and he's that done. Die is done. Yeah. Okay, my turn. So I have a hammer and two stones. So I'm going to go ahead and bank the two stones. S, S. And I have a hammer. Uh, oof. So I can build with this. Or not. It's really up to me. Hmm. Do you have anything for bricks? <laughs> and nothing else? No, not to really. To make bricks? No. Eh. So what I'll do is I'm going to just spend this die to conquer. Okay. And I have a, a legionnaire strength of uh, one. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm going to spend that die for one conquer strength, and I'm going to conquer Gallia. So this is oh, okay. close. So you have to take the road in from Rome. Mm -hmm. This is the only road coming in here. So I'm going to conquer this first settlement in Gallia. That's a one strength. Mm -hmm. So my one troop was able to take it over, but I do have to leave that troop behind now to yes, garrison. Exactly. But I do get one glory for taking forever and ever that settlement forever and ever. Okay. Um. And I will take another jewelry, mm -hmm. and I'll take that. Um, I'll do that up here, maybe. Bribe this guy with jewelry, hmm. with beautiful jewels. They love the jewelry. And I could build something, hmm. or I could conquer. But I only have two of these right now. These hmm. guys. So I think I might still build. I'm gonna use my architect. Oh wait, no, I'm not. You have I, don't have, like, I have no. You have brick. Stuff, do you have I? brick. I have brick. You could build one thing. No, I can't. Like the woodcutter. I could. Yeah, I could build a woodcutter. Yeah. Or the shrine. I'm not in a position to build that right now. Yeah, okay. I can't build a shrine because I'm not near... Oh, it must be on a hill. A hill. I'm not near one. Mm. So, oh, excuse me. So I guess I will be... I will be conquering. That's okay, though. So I will conquer with two of these people. I'm going to... Well, no, I'm going to raise... I'm not going to raise my legion. So I have to conquer by getting, getting rid of this. So I can't garrison and conquer at the same time. Correct. Okay. So I'll get rid of this die mm -hmm. so that I can conquer. I've only got two garrisons. So I will conquer this, this one, uh, this other one. That other settlement. Yes. And uh, for conquering, because I have I have bribed Hovilios, mm -hmm. Um, I gain the region's resource, so I actually get a fish mm -hmm. that I will use immediately to put here. And then for each settlement conquered, I mark an additional space on the glory track mm. because he's like in my back pocket. So I will get one glory for that plus another glory. All right. And you garrison a troop. Why? Oh, garrison. You a troop always there. because you always. I thought you meant a troop. add a troop. Oh no. That He's garrison. Like, no. Subtract. Okay. All right. So that is the end of your turn. You are now the pro console. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. What we got? Eh, it's kind of like a meh. Yeah, these weren't. It wasn't a very good roll. It wasn't. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Um. Hmm. So I'll take this one. Take these two. Okay. And I'll take this guy. All right. And it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I will go, I'm going to use this first, and I'm going to get two stones, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to use those stones and my hammer mm -hmm. to actually do the expand action. Okay. So the way this works is we can renovate roads that are connected to... Uh, completed settlements. Mm -hmm. So we do that by spending a stone per road. Um, and if it's connected to Rome for the first time, then you generate the region's resource as well. So I'm going to use one stone to do this road mm -hmm. from Rome to the settlement. So that awards me one fish, mm -hmm. which I will use this. And I'm also going to do this road, mm. which gives me another fish. Mm -hmm. And that also lets me go up on this track. So this is like kind of like our renovation. It's a legacy track. track. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I've passed two of these kind of markers, uh, one for each of my roads in this case. Now, if you're renovating two or more roads in a single action, you actually get two more of these legacy points. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get four in total. 
So okay. there you go. Excellent. All right. So I've got a ring that I'm going to give to Jeremiah okay. immediately. And then I've got an architect or a raised legion. So I'm going to use the architect and I'm going to build a woodcutter. Ah. So at a discount, I'm going to just spend one brick. And, ironic. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to build it. It is a Tetris piece again. So I'm going to build it like this. One, two, like that. Yes. And it is the W C. Okay. Wood. Wood cutter. cutter. It's wood cutter. Boom. And now it was next to my fish. Yes, your wharf. Wharf. So that automatically triggers a fish. That's good. So I will gain a fish and I will feed it to Jeremiah. Okay. He's going to get all the goods. All the fishies. All the fishies. And there was no instant ability on that building, so yeah. I am done. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my architect mm -hmm. and the wood that's printed on the die. So this is another way. You don't always have to like write down what you're using and then spend it. I spent this other thing, by the way. Mm -hmm. It just kind of takes up space. So if you know you're going to spend the resource on the die, you can just use that resource without yes. writing it on your board. Correct. So. Um, so I'm going to spend this one wood mm -hmm. to build a fishing wharf myself. Okay. Adjacent to the Tiber River and also on the other side of the Serbian Wall. Mm, very good. So I'm just going to move your guy really quick. <laughs> Why are you moving my guy? So I can get my hand in there. So you can draw? Yeah. I have a beautiful fishing wharf to construct here. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is... Fish. Fish. He moves there. <laughs> okay. So that's actually next to my training ground, mm -hmm. which gets me a army man. Mm -hmm. And it's next to my insula, which lets me perform two different abilities. So I'll get another one of my training ground guys, and I'll gain a fish from the fishing wharf that I just built. And use it here. Very good. So that's it. This is done. Done. All right. My final action is now I've got some pretty neat symbols here. I've got a basket, which can be used as any resource, mm -hmm. but I just have to decide what resource I'm going to make it. I'm going to make that basket a piece of wood. Okay. It's like a basket with a piece no, of wood inside. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> it's like a mystery basket. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to... It's like a terrible um, gift basket. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty lame, actually. So what I'm going to end up doing then is probably just taking it. Yeah. So I'll take it as a fish. Okay. And I'll give it to Jeremiah. Hmm. Because he wants everything, this guy. He takes it all from me. Now I have a scroll here, and that scroll could be used as any builder symbol. Yeah, any worker action. Any worker action. So I guess what I could do is... Hmm, well, that would be kind of lame if I did that. Maybe... Yeah, these all kind of stink. I do need troops, but to do that would be even sillier. Um, hmm. Yeah, and I don't have enough resources to to do a trade, which is even worse. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're not very resource rich this game. Not yet. Yeah, so I basically have an action that I don't know what to do. Because, you know what, I'll just get, make it a hammer and I'll use one of my stones. There you go. Just and make then a road. fill in this road that's here. Good. Connect that's that road. Too. So that gives me one, but that's kind of... And it gives you wood. One of those and a piece of wood. Wait, does it? Yeah, I connected that oh, to yeah. Rome. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's my turn. And that's the end of the round. So Very good. We are now swapping here. All right, so I get first draft. Oops. Oh boy! Wow, this is this is crazy. 
I'll take that. Hmm. Just stockpile resources. And that's what it looks like this round. It's a lot of resource dice. That's, that's probably really hard for you all to see because the icons are so small in these dice. Yeah, I'll definitely take one of these. Let me look what else I want. That's a fish. Mm -hmm. That's a jewelry. With a garrison. That's not bad either. Mm -mm. A legion razor. Yeah, they're all kind of decent. Eh, you look this way. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take the blue as well. So... I'm first, mm -hmm. so I'm going to take the, let's see, I've got a wood, a wood, and a brick, right? Mm -hmm. So wood, wood, and brick. Now, what I'm going to do, because that's all I can really use this die for, and I could use it for um, expanding, uh, I'm sorry, taxation or trade or mm -hmm. conquering, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to spend my senator that I gained earlier, and what he does is he'll de I deploy him to gain a hammer or a raise or a market mm -hmm. icon on this die. So I'm gonna use the hammer die okay. and actually be able to build right now. So what I will build is going to be very challenging. So I'm gonna go one, two, and I, in order to go a second space, I have to spend my fish. And I do have one in my warehouse for every spe space additional. Uh, that's what good uh, the fish are for, because I guess it's a long walk, so he needs to eat fish on the way. Um, so, what I can do now is I have quite a few resources. I'm going to build. Wow, some of these are so ridiculously expensive. Hmm. So how much is that parade ground? Two. It's two wood and two bricks. Yikes! That's expensive. Mm -hmm. It's good though. You spend the jewelry. You get three army people. A jewelry, you get three army people? Mm hmm Oh, it is. Yeah, that's really strong. So I guess I could build the parade ground. I don't have two bricks, though, so I can't do that yet. So what I'll do then is... You don't need two bricks. If you have an architect. Oh, you don't I have an architect. I don't have an architect. I have a hammer. Yeah. Or a merchant. Or a... You know, get my troops going. Mm-hmm. But... What I could do, uh, oh, that's so stinky. It really is, because I, I really want to build that, and I can't, because mm -hmm. I don't have two bricks. So I could build another training ground, but it's not really going to give me any bonuses for that. So what I'll just do is I'm going to just take the um, the troop action. Okay. And I'm going to activate my training ground, which will give me one guy... Uh, do you have a training ground up? I do. I'll activate yours too and give you the coin. Okay. And I'll gain a guy from you. And those are the two I'll take. And then that's the end of my turn. So okay. you go ahead. Um, wait, how did you do that? Oh, you just did... I did um, raise legions. Oh, okay. Uh, On that die? I activated my... Oh, you did your senator. My senator. Okay. And he can do... Yeah. The hammer, right, right, the right. Merchant or yeah, the yeah, raise yeah. legions. Okay, cool. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I hear you. That's the beauty of the senators. Yes. Or he would have let me double draft as the first player. Right. All right. I have a jewelry symbol, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna do this with this beautiful jewelry. Um, and then I have the spear, mm. but I have the raise legions as well. So I'm going to raise legions. I'm going to raise one legion. Hmm. Um, you have a train ground too, right? I do. Um, do I want to? Hmm. I really just need one for right now. Okay. So I'm just going to do one. Sounds good. Um, that's it. So this goes away. That's it. All right, so I will gain a brick and a wood. And I have a hammer, so I'm going to build. Now I'm going to build. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build the theater. Mm, so that's, that's a, a good one. That's, oh, I can't. Not... It's three bricks. Dang it. Why am I always short? Always short one resource. It's just that we don't have architects this round. That's why. Yeah, I know. It's been like painful i remember the other guy had made all my builders architects yeah no. so he was actually, oh yeah 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 it was really good to have him yeah 
You're missing Patricius now, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I, I probably should have been him again. So maybe I'll just do the parade ground. So that's two brick, two wood. Okay. Just get her done. Two brick, two wood. I'm going to put that parade ground right here. So that is another square. Okay. I'm going to go into the, the Vimal Vimalis. Yeah, Vimalis Hills. So it's going to span both of those. This is a PG now. Mm -hmm. Parade ground. PG. Okay. It's going to trigger my training ground, give me a guy. Also, because I built in Vimalis, Jeremiah gives me a ring. Oh, nice. So I'm going to feed that ring to somebody. That's a good idea. I think. Yeah, so you can go. I'm going to okay. think about what I'm going to cool. do with that ring. I'm going to gather a brick and two wood. And then I'm going to discard this die to conquer. And, okay, so the way this works, so I can explain this to the, the people at home. Mm -hmm. um, I have one, two, three, four ungarrisoned soldiers. So I'm able to go to Egyptus, for example, and I can actually uh, conquer two settlements mm -hmm. for a total value. You can conquer as four. many as you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I can go ahead and do that. Oops, I'm trying not to touch your board here. Yeah. So I'm going to do this too. I'll do them one at a time. The only thing is you have to you leave have to behind garrison. one mm -hmm. garrison for each one. So this one, and I'll do this one as well. So I garrison one guy. I still have three left, so I garrison two guys. Um, actually, I could do one more, too, if I really wanted to. Mm -hmm. You can come in and do that one. I could come in and do that. I think I will. Okay. Um, so I conquered three times. Right? Mm -hmm. So I am going to get one, two, that's three banners, mm -hmm. plus an additional space on the glory track for each settlement conquered. Mm. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, mm, which is going to be the first, first Nero card. Square. All right. Um, and then I'm going to get the region's resource, which is Brick. bricks three times. Right? I don't know. Oh, when conquering gained the so like one time? It sounds like the, because the conquering oh. is the action, right? When we played before, we did it for, you said do it for each one. I don't care. I'll do it for one. That's fine. Do it for three. I'll uh, do it for I don't, one. I don't know. That's kind of ambiguous. <laughs> you know? Like, well, oh, I, I can say I like, know. so when conquering, but conquering is the conquering action. So, right. I don't know. But that's why this says for each settlement right? conquered. So it doesn't say for each settlement conquered. It just Correct. says when conquering. That's why I don't yeah. think it's as powerful as the yes. second one. That's fine. I just the, brick. the first ones are always I a little bit one. later. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. There's always That's it. some angle to there you go. snake more. All right. I know. Snake oil. It's all snake oil. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Snake oil salesman? I mean, like, I know what it means, but I don't <laughs> get it. Oh. Right. Like, that's not even a thing, is it? Snake oil is salesman? Is that the point? Well, just, you know, trying to always get one over. Selling people snake oil? Yeah. Who would buy that? Well, because they think it's an, a miracle cure. Ew. For what? Well, it's just a, it's a term, the snake oil salesman. Yeah. They always try to sell you those miracle cures, but they're not really cures. Okay, I know some of those people. Yeah. Um. Okay. What do I want to do? Well, I guess I'll definitely take one of these guys. You get to pick two. Hmm. Definitely taking that. Oh, and by the way, I keep building stuff and not filling out my chart. So I built one, two, three buildings so far. Yeah. No worries. And hmm, that's interesting. Do I want to do that? Hmm. Yeah, these are tough. Basket, basket, jewelry basket. <laughs> jewelry basket. Jewelry basket. I'll take the basket of jewelry. All right. Okay. My action is first. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think I am going to... Didn't you build a parade ground? Yes. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to go here because I'm next. Well, you get one free move. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go here for free. And then 
I'm going to build a woodcutter. Hmm. I think. Yeah, it's kind of not great for the bonus, but... Actually, I don't know if I'm going to do that. It doesn't really like give you anything, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm not really near anything that I can do much else. I mean, what's it? It's just going to cost me like a brick, right? It's like I might as well buy it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right, so I'll get a jewelry first. Let's do that. Get that out of the way. Oops. Do that. And um, the basket can be anything, right? The basket? The it can basket. be any resource, it yes. It could even be fish. It can be fish. Interesting. Um, I'm going to take... Oh, you know what? Oh, you did build next to there, didn't you? Um, I'll take... I'm going to use this die. It has jewelry on it, too. Mm -hmm. so I use this one. Oh, crap. Mm. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just won't build anything this time. I need to get, like, over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just garrison again. I'll use this stupid thing, garrison again. All right. Um, so I take one from mine. I'll take one from yours. Okay. Screw it, right? Yeah, why not? Um... That's it. We only have two. Two training grounds out there. I have a parade ground, which you could spend a ring to get three. Oh, I could have. I could have used that ring, actually, mm -hmm. that I just put on there. To get three troops. To get three troops. Interesting. Mm hmm No, I'm good. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to use my architect okay. to build a market, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put that market. So the Mercado. I am the Mercado. <laughs> the Mercado. So I'm going to put that. It's an L shape. So I'm going to go right there. Boom. And that is the market. M. K. Okay. All right, I'm okay. 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 So I get one ring if it's adjacent to at least one army building. It is. So I'm going to go ahead and store that ring. And it also is going to trigger both the training ground mm -hmm. for me, which will give me a troop, and the parade deck, which I'll pay the ring. that ring I just mm -hmm. got to gain three more troops. That's good. Six, seven, eight. That's really good. Yep. And then I'm done, and that's another building. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, and it was also in Viminellis, which gives me another ring. Mm. So I will store that as well. That's good. Okay. Very good, very good. All right, so I will get another ring. Rings everywhere. They're just falling from the sky. They are. There's so many rings. <laughs> um, do this. Okay, and I will take a fish mm -hmm. to move here. Well, actually, he can move here for free, right? One for free. Can I move onto your thing for a fish? I just I know I can't land on your square. For a fish, you can. You can go on my. I can building. just sit here, right? You can. I don't know that I want to do that. You don't have anything good going on next to you. I got a lot going on over here. Not really. Really? No. There's like markets and parade decks, and this is like the whole military infrastructure, and you've got nothing interesting? No, I don't want to. Well, because I can't build anything up here. Because oh, yeah. you can't really, we don't have anything in that shape. Yeah, And true. you can't cross over hills, so it's like. That's true. Kind of weird. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll just keep my basket resource of anything mm. and I'll call it a f I'll, I'll call it a fish because I may need to get around somewhere okay yeah fish is always good yeah okay that's it wait I'm getting rid of this but I'm gonna do another conquest you know what I mean oh okay so you're gonna go I'm gonna conquer one two three I have a three thing mm -hmm. I'm gonna conquer this for two for two mm. plus one mm -hmm. okay done good yep all right so then i have my last one i'm going to take a stone and i have a a scroll so I can do a number of things here. But what do I want to do? So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to discard this and I'm going to start conquering myself. Mm. Right? I'm going to conquer myself. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start out by hitting this for four. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, you really should. I've got eight army strength right now. Yeah. So that's four. Leave one behind. Mm -hmm. I have a strength of one, two, three, four, five, six left. I'll do another three. Mm -hmm. Leave one behind. I've got a strength of five. I'll do another three. Leave one behind. I'll do a two. Mm -hmm. Leave one behind. I have a strength of three, and I'll do a three. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't take that resource. And then leave one, Maybe. right? So I did... Wow, how many did I do here? I did one, two, three, four, five yeah. conquerors. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Banners. Banners. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice, that's you the, crossed the Nero. That's the second Nero card. All right. Mm. That was big. That I was saved huge. up a lot of troops. All right, so it is uh, my pro you console. Are. I am the pro council. <laughs> yeah, so we're actually getting very close here. Yes. To the end. We'll just do a quick draft and then get this going. All right, so I'm going to take you. Okay. Is that the only architect? Yeah. All well, right, no, no, this one right there. What? Oh, yeah, here he is. So we'll take these two. Yeah, I've got enough stuff. I'll take the resources, and then we are to you. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is... This is a weird move, but I'm going to take a brick and two wood. Mm -hmm. That's all this has on it, which is kind of a lame die. Um, but with this die, I'm going to use it to do trade. Mm. I'm going to spend three matching resources with a ring being a wild card. So I'm going to spend two wood and a ring. Okay. So I'm going to get one gold per, per plus ring. one extra per ring. So it's three items. So one per wood and then two for the ring. So it's one, two, three, four gold. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four gold. And I all players may trigger the production ability of one of their buildings. Mm. Right, so I'm going to choose... Oh my guy should be in the marketplace, actually. I'm going to choose the market and gain two of any resources. And then I can spend any three to gain a ring. So I will get two brick. Um, what do I have? A fish? Training ground? I will trigger Insula, mm -hmm. which lets me do two different abilities. So I'll do the fishing wharf and my training ground. My fish wharf. Put my fish here. Okay. It's your turn. I see. I see. I'm gonna do this. 
Oh, I don't want to trade. I'm going to build. With my architect. Hmm. I'm going to build a market. For one wood and one brick, since you're on it. Oh, yes. I'm going to build it right here. Right there. Market. All right. Um, I gain one jewelry mm -hmm. because I'm next to at least one, I'm actually near two, um, army buildings. So I get one jewelry, mm -hmm. which I will spend immediately right now here. And that will trigger your training ground, mm -hmm. triggers my training ground, mm -hmm. triggers my insula, mm -hmm. which is going to trigger my training ground and my fishery. Mm. So, oh, actually, I don't want to do my fishery. I might think I wanted to. Tr I want to do my um, my market. I'm actually gonna do trigger the market that I just mm -hmm. built. So, um, I'm gonna do two stone. My jewelry can't be used as any resource, right? Uh, you get a uh, senator too, because you built it next to one of my buildings. You are correct. Um, yeah, the jewelry is not wild, right? It can be used as an. Uh, it is. It is it wild. Is wild. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cross this out and take a jewelry instead. Okay. Uh, jewelry. So one jewelry. I guess I'll just put it here. Finish him off. And then I'm going to build a theater for with my architect. So at one discount, I'll do one wooden, two brick, brick, brick. And that is going to go. It has to go in Palatinius. Mm -hmm. So I will put it right there. Okay. This is the TH. TH. Okay. It's good. That's it. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Is that it? Uh, yes. That's my move. Okay. I'm going to take a stone and then I'm going to turn my scroll into work orders for construction of these roads. So expand. Expand. Um, so I'm going to do. What roads do I want to do? Maybe I'll connect some of your roads. <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah, I could do that. All right, so I will start. I'll do. I'm going to do four roads mm -hmm. for four stone, but it's really going to be three stone and a jewelry. Got you. Got me. Mm -hmm. So we'll do this one, which is going to connect me to Rome for the first time mm -hmm. in territory three. So that'll get me a wood and two of those, and then I'll connect you here mm -hmm. to your four, mm -hmm. which gives me. Three three of these and a wood for me and a wood for you um, and then I guess I can connect your other road there so you get another wood mm -hmm. and then I'll do one more I'll just do my little road here and get a brick for that. So that'll be one. Mm. But I did at least two, so I get two additional. Mm -hmm. 
and I hit this Nero. Hmm. All right, so this so. one more round, it's over. Yes. That is it. Phew. Goodness gracious. All right, so you are pro console. Okay. Roll them up for the last round. The last this is it. Round. For all the marbles. Mm -hmm. in room. This is big. Okie doke. Wow, it's a lot of fish. <laughs> That's a lot of fish. Hmm. And a lot of stones and no architects. Wow. Hmm. That's kind of stinky, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, I'm down here. It was like that red one. I probably should have taken that. Mm. All right, cool. All right, that's it. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to start here by taking this. I'll take a stone and. Fish. And then I'll discard the die to do some conquering. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five. I just take this big dude down here. You're already pinned. That's weird. What? Yeah, but I can still conquer. Oh, yeah, you can. Right? Yeah, sure. Why not? I want to color in that big circle. Uh, I don't know. That's just weird because your track is pinned. I know, but it's kind of a waste of. Two it's points. not a. It's not a waste because when I conquer, I gain the region's resource, uh, right. and I needed that jewelry Ooh. to fill out my final. I got slot you. Right I thought here. you were just blocking me from getting any more conquer points. <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, okay. Um. And then, let's see. So I garrison that guy. And theoretically, I could take that one too, but I'll take this. Well, I could take this three, right? Yeah. I can leave you that one. I don't. I'm not conquering this round. So you oh, you're take, not? You can take them all. Yeah. Okay. That's not where my points are. That's not where my points are. I'll take another jewelry then. Do this one. Four. There. I'm maxed out, but I get a jewelry. Okay. Your turn. My turn. What do I do here? So I guess I'll take a stone and this is a tough call. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do for my last move because I have a few options here and I'm trying to see mm -hmm. which one's worth the most points and it's yeah. probably going to be for me to build roads so three roads three stone that's not your last move right no it's my second to last yeah. move so i can do like yeah roads are big at the end yeah so i can build three roads so i'll just go one two and that's going to get me two rings actually mm -hmm. i'm going to keep those one 
Yeah, you get points for that, don't you? For uh, your theater? Kind of, sort of. You get points. You get five points for that. Yeah, actually, you're right. So I take both of those rings and I can build one more road and I'm going to build it here. Did you take your road points? I'm going to do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven road points. So it'll back me up to eight. All right. All right. So I'm going to get a brick. And I have a hammer action. Technically, I have two stone, so I could do roads. Mm hmm. Or I can do build something because I've got, I do have like a lot of resources left. But I don't have like. It's not, I don't have all those rings left in storage to make it worth that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'd have to spend my thing mm -hmm. just to connect my roads and get jewelry. Um... I can move in here while I'm building, right? I just can't end you my can't turn there. You can't end your movement there. Oh, end my movement, not my yeah. turn. Okay. Got you. Hmm. Interesting. guess I'll just build roads. All roads lead to Rome. They do. Right? Mm-hmm. You should build road. What? I could build two roads. Yeah, I have a jewelry stone. and a stone. Oh, okay. Oh, or I could do this. Um... What did I want to build? Uh, like a shrine? I could end up by building a shrine. I get one free move, right? Mm -hmm. can spend a fish for a move. And then I'll build a shrine for two bricks. All the way out here. <laughs> it, it, it on... Oh! Which is worth no points. No points! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not what I want to do. Mm, yeah, they don't want any shrines in that hill. I guess not, do they? Mm -mm. And they don't want any in vitamin C. No, like they? they want you out in Kalis. They want us here and, and down here. And down here, yeah. But I can't, you can't get reach down it. there. No, not without coming into my building. Alright, never mind. I won't spend this fish then. Fishy fish. Hey, you're like blocked in here on this training ground. Mm hmm. It's kind of crap. <laughs> it's the parade deck. <laughs> you know? Ah! Um, maybe I can build another insula. What if I go out here? One, two. I have to look at adjacency to this river. I know these are adjacent, right? Yeah, you don't count. Just these pretend the bridge is not there. Right. So these are adjacent to here, to my buildings. But these are not adjacent to this. That's but they correct. are adjacent to the river, which right. is why mm -hmm. we got points for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Mm. Okay. Darn it, last move. <laughs> Alright, I'll just build roads. Sorry to keep everybody waiting. Uh, two roads. 
you don't you don't get anything for having like stuff left over. You no, know? not really. Which is why it kind of sucks. But I'll just build a road here and a road here, and I get two jewelry for that. Mm -hmm. And I max out my your roads, roads, your legacy, to Rome track. Yeah, that's, that's fine. done. All right, <sighs> yeah. I'll just take a. I really like to build some more stuff though. I know. Well, we ran out of time, so I'll just take a fish. I don't need it, but I'll go to the market for my final move. Okay. And I'll sell three wood. One, two, three. I get three dollars. One, two, three. Okay. That's a. That's it. That is it. That is mm. as easy as I can make it. So now we just have to do final scoring. Yes, let's All do right. it. All right, okay. so we simply just go down the score chart. Right, so coins. I have a grand total of one coin. I have 11. Buildings track. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I didn't build like any buildings this time. All right, manufacturing is going to be on the manufacturing building. So, for mm -hmm. example, I have a fishing wharf outside of the serving nice, wall, two. so I'm going to get two points for I that. I don't, so I don't get anything for that. Woodcutters next to adjacent buildings. One point buildings. per adjacent manufacturing buildings. So you actually get a point for that. I get one point. That's good. Yeah. All right. And I don't. Urban. Wait, I get two points for that. Urban. I don't have urban. You do. So you have an insula. I do have a market. Market's not Doesn't worth any points. Insula is near at least three buildings. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So you get two I get points. two points for that. So I get nothing for urban. Armies. Armies. One per urban. So I get one of those. And then training grounds of one per adjacent army building. So we each get one for that. So I get one for that. So I get two points for army. Right. Oh, yeah. I don't get any for that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I get none for army. Religion, neither of us did. Leisure. Leisure. Oh, I get theater. I get five points. Yes, if you have three rings in the storage yard. I which sure you do. do. Yeah. Legacy track roads. So okay. I've got eight. Glory track. I've got ten. Mm, I have one. Oh, advisors loyalty. So I get four points for that. Okay. Nero. Nero bonus. So I get four for that. Now we, troops. You get. One point for every two. Round it Round up. Round it up. So I have five points for them. Me too. Um, same with the senators. So I get one point for them. So I get one point, I guess, for my one senator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we just got to do the quick math. All right. Quick math. Here we go. Let me get my calculator. I can't do this well, in my head. 30. All right. Clear. Let's see. We did better yesterday. I have 57. You have 67. Can I use your calculator? Yeah, I'll do yours real quick. Okay. All right, so we got 1, 4, 2, 2, 18, 13, 12, 9, 5, 1. Yeah, 67. Yeah. So you got me by 10 points. 10 points. That's that Nero. The first Nero card is 7 points. So yeah, first Nero card is 7 points. Yep. Oh, well, we the go. 10 was actually this. You had 8, I had 18. Yeah, but... That's really what it was. I have a lot of money. You know what I mean? The tracks yeah. evened out. Right. But it came down to... Plus, I get the other day, we yeah. were two. We were thing. about it's, 10 it's points. It's usually about the... But let's go talk about All right, it. All right. Okay. All right. Roll and roll. There roll you have roll. it. Yeah, so I, as you can see, it's a lot thinkier yes. and chunkier than your than your uh, grandmother's roll and roll. <laughs> roll and roll. Roll, roll, right. and if you play it in the kitchen, yeah. you can stick these pens to the you can. <laughs> they they could. They're magnetized. I don't know if these are the pens are going to include. Uh, who knows? Anyway. Uh, so yeah, interesting. We're not going to as it's a Kickstarter. This, right. is, this thing's got about another week and a half left on Kickstarter. Um, we pushed to get this video done before the end of Kickstarter, just right. so you can get a you know Feel another perspective. Because yeah. there's a few videos out there, but just to get another perspective on what this game has to offer. Um, and you know, we talked to Mr. Turchi, yes, <laughs> at Gen Con, and he was, you know, he was very excited, very about excited this about this one. So they got us a copy, and we made we want to make sure we got it filmed and got it out. Yeah. So, uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, the Kickstarter link will be down below. Go check it out. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.